There he is! Uncle Buck! So, today uh, I told Buck to come over and, well, we got most of my yard plowed. But this is actually going into field and we're going to finish off the rest with a plow day. Buck's got his 50-20, which no doubt has a lot more horse than the 1206. But we're going to take the 50-20 next to the 1206, have a little plow day, and then also I have a narrow front 706. We're getting the old school tractors out. We're doing a little plow day. Hold on, let me open up the garage. Most of these tractors are in here. We just changed the oil on all of them, so they should be good to go. I've got two five bottom plows in the back that we gotta dig out of the weeds. And we're gonna hook them up and see what they can do. Now, I would be talking crap about Bucks 5020, but this thing will just smoke my 1206. I know it will. Now, this guy. Say that, dude. Uh, even back. Eh? Dude, even coming out of factory, this thing was. She was tuned up. I don't know what you did to her. You turned the fuel screw is... up or something, but. Well, remember, what, remember I got this thing repowered True. back in the 90s? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Right when we were going broke. Yeah. yeah. Well, you got nice, thicker you got thicker rubber, too. Say, I got some beefy tires on this thing. It's yeah. about time I get new shoes for it. Yeah, they're getting a little burned off there. I think if I am going to get new shoes, I'm going to actually put on the LSWs that I always wanted that you wouldn't let me have back in the day. LSWs on a 5020? Oh, yeah, big boys. I don't think I've ever seen that. It's just a really fat flotation tire. Well, I'll, uh, I'll get the 1206 out. We don't have much left. Too bad we didn't invite David or John over. That would have been fun. He's got a he's got an 806 and an 856, I think, all international. Somebody had a 4020. Was it was it Gary? Gary had the 4020, I think. I don't yeah, know if he still has one, it though. I don't remember what that one uh, guy had up in the barn, that yellow one, the CBT. Oh, that thing. Moline. Uh, yeah, the Moline. Yeah, the Moline looking thing. Yeah. I can't remember anymore. I think I might get ready to go. Yeah. So we'll get the 1206 out. I actually have this 1206 with old duels. We have a narrow front 706 that we actually got at, uh, we actually bought on auction. And then I also have a 1206 over there on singles, but it has the roof on it, sunshade. I call it the sunshade roof. We got it on the auger though, so we won't be using that. But that 1206 over there on the auger, that's what I used back in the 60s, back when we were in Iowa in the 60s. And that's been a good tractor, never had any issues with it. Six bottom plow. Six bottom plow, actually, not a five bottom. Six bottom. It's been a while. These things have been sitting back here for a while. Got my international Case IH sweatshirt on. Case IH hat on. Oh, yeah. God, we should have brought a chain. Sure got a chain, but You ready to do this? Nobody's ready to deliver me. Rex, I don't know what he's digging for. He's digging for something in the field there. Okay, Buck, it's been a while since I've ran one of these. Honestly. Oh, uh, you're telling me. Yeah. We're going to see here. Put her in a low gear. Let her eat. There we go. Oh yeah. Come on, Grandpa. Hey, we're going. We're not even slipping up. We're doing good. I'd like to hook a bigger plow up to this. It's turning it over well. Don't test your luck there. Yeah, it'd probably be better if we took one of the duels off, but this works just fine. <laughs> Buck is flying. Come on, boy. Keep up now. Hey. See if we can pull her at 8 mile an hour here. Oh, yeah. I'm going to try the 706. Buck's hooked her up. But we'll see if she can do it. Let her eat, Buck. You want to take the tricycle? Yeah. She's Get in that up. ice cream box. I'm right back. Drank too much coffee. Okay. Oh yeah. She pulls her. She's chugging though. Let's see if I can pull her in a faster gear. I don't know if it's gonna be possible. We're going pretty quick here. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go the second high gear. That's what we're gonna do. Drop her in. Oh, uh, she's pulling it. Oh, she's stalling. Down shift. She's chugging. Big Buck's taking a leak on the fence over there. Made that brew a little strong this morning. <laughs> I was gonna say, you better do it in the field. Give me some return. Do you want me to pop a squat right in the middle <laughs> of the turf? <laughs> well, that is finished. Yeah, we could, we could go do 320 acres of corn stocks if you want, like the old Shoot. days. That'd take a while though. We better. Uh, would. Yeah. 
Oh, we gotta disc this. We could put the 50-20 on the di well on the disc if you At want. 60-30. Yeah, I can go get that hooked back up. Yeah, do that. It's it's hooked up to the 8110 right now. Hey Rex, are you gonna help or are you just gonna keep walking in circles out here? Come on, man. I'm just gonna take this back. I got. We'll get these put away. Um, it's going to be nice the rest of the day, so I'm not going to unhook the plows just yet in case we need to knock out a little more here. But we need to get hydrous on badly. So hold one sec. Now, okay, we're having some issues with hydrous. Maybe I shouldn't say this, but it's like it, it won't work on the map. Bucks tried a bunch of different things. So we're going to put hydrous on. We're going to put liquid through an anhydrous bar. Yes, it's not realistic, but just pretend it's anhydrous. We can just pretend it's anhydrous. So we're Link gonna- says anhydrous on the side. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, I'm not lying. It's anhydrous. It's smoke. We're putting on smoke. So we're gonna pull that behind the, our toolbars, and then we got the big 9520. We're gonna pull it behind, and then we got 9220. We're also gonna pull it behind, which Buck is gonna go back and get the toolbar on. Okay, Buck, those in Hydra's toolbars get really heavy. This has a pintle hitch on it. So I'm gonna have him take the grain truck. He's got the old Mac. He's gonna go bring it back here, I think. Be careful with her box, she's a be- I'll be careful, I just gotta get this thing figured out. And we'll jump in the 9520 and uh, get this hooked up to the toolbar. All right, I'll be back. Then for it. Okay, everything is hooked up. That's all plumbed in there. We got in hydrous. We're rolling on hydrous. We got a lot. We got a lot in there too. We are ready to rock and roll. We should be able to knock out acres, especially with a second bar that that Buck's getting to put on the 9220 there. That's in the shop. So I'm gonna get rolling because we gotta go. It's December 2nd. We gotta go. What's super nice though is the tr the tracks on this thing. Like if you're a spring applying, there's so much compaction with how heavy these are in the spring. Like it's gonna you're gonna see it in your yield monitor pretty much. So, having tracks on this, and the big floaters, wow, that is nice. I've never seen one of these carts like that. Put the hazards on, we'll shift up into road gear. Let her go. Big old 95-20. Buck may be busy running these tanks back and forth though too. It'd be nice to have some three guys. Maybe we'll get Luke on here or something. There's Buck. <laughs> That's a load for the Mac. Oh, he's got big... Oh, that tank doesn't have tracks on it. It has big floaters. Shoot back the text. We'll unfold the bar. So, when we look at this, we are putting nitrogen down on field 16. It's a lot of silty clay, like this is heavy soil, silty clay, and then it has some sandy loam too, so through here you get some lighter ground. But, this is going to be able to hold a lot of our nitrogen, 2 pH looks good, honestly high right here at the start, but yeah, it's good, pH is good. Never mind, we need the unit convert mod, okay, but... We're gonna put on, it's gonna automatically variable rate our nitrogen, which is gonna be super nice. Like, here's a spot where we need more nitrogen, here's a spot where we need less nitrogen. So it's gonna automatically apply it for us. That's gonna work good. Let's drop her in the ground. Let's roll. My question is, how fast can we go with this bar? Looks like eight mile an hour. We are covering a lot of acres. I think this is close to a 45, 50 foot bar. And you can see, here we're going along here, we're going for 100 pounds per acre, roughly is what we're putting on. Me and Buck are rolling. We maybe had a little spill. Not gonna talk about it. Nobody got injured. That's reassuring. Buck, I'm thinking you could have got a bigger bar. Just maybe a little bit. That 1920, man, she's she runs like a 93, 94, 20. You could uh, to the co tell that to the co-op. This is all they had. Ah, uh, really? Yeah, it was either this or a clapped-out smaller one. Huh? Or one of those that pulls behind a disc, and the disc wasn't even that big. Maybe we could get. Uh, does the co-op have it? The clapped-out smaller one still? We could put it on the 8110. Could have Luke run this one. I think that one's a disc version, though. Oh. I mean, if you look at the map, we're knocking out a big chunk right there. 
But if we had, uh, if you, dude, if you could get a bigger one, oh wow, we'd knock out acres quick. We figured out in Hydrus, we are actually putting on smoke. But there's a couple settings, Buck, the legend, Uncle Buck just figured it out. So if you look in the upper left hand corner, we are putting on Hydrus and you can kind of see the rate that's going on at. Which honestly, right now it looks low, Buck. Yeah. Huh. Well, we were going yellow though, that's what was weird. Did you ever, okay. Well, because I think it's, it's, it's just tilling. It's oh, just tilling it. Now gotcha. we're actually putting the smoke down. Okay. Now your tank's less. Gotcha. The, hey, Buck, that's what I was wondering. The first strip up there, did you put smoke down on the, no, the I just top tilled edge? It. Oh, so tillage gets rid of the residue, which gets rid of the carbon, which gives you some type of nitrogen value. Got it. Now we're actually putting smoke down, so we're getting icy. Well, I see it, said, it, said the, it said the application so the, rate. I'm like looking at this thing yeah. going... Where on earth is it actually applying anything? So now we're at like 200, we're close to 200 kilograms, which is perfect for corn. Oh yeah, now we're actually getting something done. Yes, we are letting it roll back to another end row. Usually Buck turns and I'll follow him in here. Buck, I gotta be about double the size of you, I think. I bet you that's a 25 footer. Might be, but again, this is a three section. That's a five. True. Oh, yeah, yeah. You hear the Zach Brown band's new song? Just came One. out. Chicken Fried? Oh, yeah. I've always wanted to see them in concert. I got gotcha. you. You're good. Pick up this little bit at least. We're good now. There you go. We're rolling pretty good. Buck's back here fishing something. All we got is this left. Like, we are knocking it out quick. I have an idea. Yep. So since we have the 30 foot toolbar and a 50 foot toolbar, I'll go back to the co op. I can see what we can get. If we can get either another 30 yeah. or a 50, hopefully, if someone brought one back or they can get me one, we put the 50 on this one with this tank and we put the 8110 on this toolbar and that tank that's already back at your house, we fill that one back up. Oh, that'd work. That way we got three machines running on corn. Yeah, because that field's about almost almost double the size of this field. The thing is, we could just plant beans into it, but uh, I'm thinking about buying another field so we could plant the other field as, as beans and then both these as corn. Have a lot of corn, Buck. <laughs> a lot of corn. Or we could yeah, go I'm beans. Gonna take the, either way works. I'm going to hit the east side of the field, though. Okay. And we just kind of meet in the middle. Well, we're fishing up the last pass here. Me and Buck, uh, we knocked her out pretty good. Um, we're going to need a third tractor going, though, on the next ground. And then if we pick up more ground, we're going to need another tractor. So, yeah, I think me and Buck were talking. We're going to go into present day for this season, for this next season here. So, that'll become a next video, most likely. For now, we're still in the uh, 20, 2000 to 2010s decade, we'll say. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this one. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. And hey, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.